Welcome back, Keepers of the Flame! Okay, so there's half a loaf here. Just for you, Pisces. Half a loaf. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Oh, I got a... I don't know if you saw the detox video or not, but... New deck. New magic mushroom deck. Midnight magic, it's called. Very cool. Little distracted to the fingers. It might be the last time I use it. So, yeah. Hope you're doing good. Let's see what's ooh, high priestess. Sophie likes it. Sophie, are you having fun? Don't turn their cards upside down. Be ski. What you're doing? Okay. I think she turned that with stars. Now you have a whole loaf. A whole loaf. <laughs> Be ski. Do you like these ones? Like I got this. <laughs> Sophie, I love you. You can have the High Priestess card when we're done, okay? Okay. You are definitely a High Priestess. Six of Pentacles in reverse, though. Like it. Equal give and take. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. And the Star card with the High Priestess. Okay. Keeping it sovereign. Keeping it whatever this negative Nancy was. Hi, Lily. Uh, you're like, whatever. And you're high priest to seeing it out. Fairy ring. Champagne. Cute. Okay. Excuse us, Sophie. Excuse us, darling. Did you need to get down? She's like, no, I just need a place without cards to loaf it, lady. Okay, so at the roots, we have Knight of Wands, and the Ace of Wands, and the Strength card. Which horse do you want to ride here, buddy? Beastia! Pisces can't decide what knight they, they want to be. What horse do you want to ride? So, because you're coming as the knight of pentacles down up here, there's like, you want to bring something of value. But in your root, you want to bring desire or an offering of spirit of some sort. But the ace of wands is in reverse. With the strength card. Oh, this might this feels like you know what uh putting desire up on that two of pentacles. See that infinity symbol right at the top that uh the black jaguar is looking at? Yeah, the black jaguar. She knows what's going on, man. She knows what happens when you upright that ace of wands, if you will. So you're hesitant to do that here. Keep in sovereign. Doing the healing thing. I don't know if you're healing yourself. Well, everybody's always healing. But there's not equal give and take. And that's what's off putting here. I, I do have another critter behind me. He's sitting on, <laughs> on the chair. I'm just like really like sitting up right, right, right now. Who's a good boy? Okay, let's get the six of pentacles clarified. Okay, there's the high priestess again. Okay, redundant, redundancy. I told you once already, lady. <laughs> Four of Cups, Ace of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Petty Arguments, the Father of Wands in Reverse, Toxic Authoritative Figure, and the Four of Why are you celebrating that? Ooh, somebody teach you how to celebrate that? Is that why you like, I need to gallop away from this situation? That's a lot for one one card, Pisces. That's a lot for one card. Like, yeah, you saw it. You, the Four of Cups, like, and then 
there's the ace of cups so like you were rejecting it you rejected your own ace of cups with my one of my four-legged beasts going in and out are you you got this They're just learning how to use the Delphi gate. Lily, you got this? I'll be right back. I would normally start this over, but it's kind of intense at this point. Sorry, Pisces. Okay. So. Sorry. Hi. It's gorgeous out. So the, the cats are trying to learn how to use the dog. Oh, my God. So hot. So it feels like you rejected your own cup. You. Because your high priestess wanted to see how it was going to be put up on the... You rejected your own cup. Out of sheer curiosity. This is like anything about a kitten. <laughs> it's that they're curious, right? Like, how does this work? What if I don't listen to what's in my own cup? What if I don't pay any attention to it at all? So then you put it up on the wheel. Okay, this is in your root system. And it caused petty arguments but celebration at the same time. What incarnation, Pisces? All right, oh, I feel like I just gave Virgo the wrong song. Okay, let's get the, ooh, get the Knight of Pentacles clarified for Pisces, please. I just told Virgo that I needed to do some detoxing. Pisces, like, <laughs> you're like, let's see how this cycle continues. As the world burns, Pisces, as the world burns. Okay. <laughs> you got all friggin' wands at the end here. There's the Son of Cups. So that's the Page of Cups. And then the Son of Pentacles. <laughs> Redundant redundancy. Yes, I can hear you all the way through the camera. It's already out there in the cards, Laney. Why are you clarifying? Because this is, I don't understand this. How are you working this, Pisces? Like, you, you see what you're doing here. You see what you're doing here. And you're like, cool, I'm cool with it. But, and that's fine. I just, but, you know, like, this whole, like, wand thing, like, your desires are getting put by the wayside. And maybe that's what needs to happen. But, like, it feels like... Because you've got the King of Wands in reverse here. It feels like... They're kind of stifling your desires. And rejecting your own cup. Which is weird. And by doing that, it's that's what brings you to the petty argument. And then the four... Four of Wands, celebration. Celebration over petty arguments. Ooh. Hang on. Let me work through that quick. So if you were going to do that for like the rest of your life, arguing over petty crap and then celebrating, how would that look out? 
like vast, like zoom way out. What is that life path going to look like? I'm not going to give you my answer. I just want you to think about that. Because you've got, you've got horses all over the place in here. <laughs> Get your horses in a group, man. And I hear you. I'm Sagittarius ascending. So. Who the hell am I to say? Did you ride that shit in one direction? No. No. Some of us can't. However, I don't really care for the whole you rejecting your own cup thing. I can understand wanting to stifle your ace of wands because it can get you into a lot of trouble. This is true. So for the nine of pentacles, I have the four of pentacles. And the five of cups in reverse. You will keep spilling the emotions in order to hold on to your pentacles. That's fair. That's a wise decision. I would, yep, I shed some tears over the fact that I'm not, I'm not moving my base. Not moving it. You are missing a pentacle, though. Maybe that's why you're looking all, seeing how that value structure, where's your nine, where's your nine of pentacles, where's your legacy? Get the star. The jaguar in this card was looking directly at the star, by the way. Is that it? Alright, here we go. Daughter of Cups in reverse. That's kind of a cool picture. See how the reflection in the water is making a cup and she's sitting in it? Oh, that's freaking cool. But you got it in reverse. So, um, I think the daughters equate to the page and the sons of the knights. Or like the princess. So you're not, you're not taking any messages of love. And maybe it's too immature for you to take messages of love. Because even like, okay, so like this, there's swans in this deck, so. Like, he looks like he's a pretty mature son. This looks like a little, a little wee one. Just a little widow. Okay, so I feel like you're saying no to those particular cups. To the immature youngins that probably aren't, are not going to bring you emotional stability. All right, let's get through this to the read. <laughs> Moon's on the bottom with the three of wands. All right, the Pisces. What's at the root of the read? Oh, dang old, dang old Pisces. <laughs> Yeah. You're cutting your worm in half, you're gonna go fishing in two different ponds. That's what it feels like. So you're mentally struggling here and you're like, screw it, I'm gonna put this worm on that hook and throw it off the, the front of the boat, and then I'm gonna put this one on that hook and throw that off the back of the boat and see what I can catch. That's a weird interpretation, but I don't care. Then you've got the Nine of Cups. You're emotionally sovereign here. What do you mean? Because oh, you're leaving your own cup out. You haven't gotten to the ten. Because you're leaving your own cup out. Rest, relaxation, quiet time for reflection. I feel like you, you could get away with doing some meditation. I didn't want to recommend it to Virgo because Virgo's going through it. Virgo's going through it right now. Um, so, temptation. All this is is an invitation. Do you really want to go to the other side? Or would you prefer to stay here? Because I'll take you to the other side. But you got to come to a certain understanding of what I actually represent. Not some ignorant... 
little Billy Goat Gruff. The devil's the gatekeeper, the guardian to the other side. The, the red pill, if you will. I think you can do it. You're fishing for it. You just gotta... <laughs> if you don't go back and get your own cup, you're not doing Jack Billy Squat. I got the Three of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you might say no to the portal. And then the Father of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. There's a different opportunity you want. And there's your Ace of Wands in the upright. <laughs> Pisces, we all got to make those choices, right? It's not like the end of the universe. <clears throat> There it is. Ten of cups. Go get your cup. Go get your cup. Then worry about the rest of it. Then you can operate your ace of wands. Go get your cup. Go get your cup, Pisces. Then you can deal with the devil on a better stage. And have that counterpoint with you to deal with the devil, if you will. A little reinforcement really reinforcement more like a guidance system but whatever what does Pisces need to know for a final anything healing imagine that didn't we just get the star sign <laughs> Is that all that popped out? These three, okay. So, Ten of Cups. Yeah, if you keep leaving the counterpart, you know, uh, out of the situation to do some tricks up your sleeve. Yeah. Well, yeah, I don't know who's doing it to who, but like, or if you stay with this person, Who's got tricks up their sleeve? This is a stage in reverse. Okay. Um, let's. We all know what the Five of Pentacles means. The interesting part is she looks like she's being bound here. <laughs> okay. Let's do. Where are we at? Eighteen. Okay. Come on. Come on. Healing. All right, Pisces. Let's do this. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can get it. <laughs> How is the glare coming on here with no freaking, oh, whatever. Okay. Keywords, healing, release, purification, forgiveness, transformation, and infection. To be human is to be wounded, a time to connect to body, mind, and spirit, and soul. Those are two different things, by the way. Spirit and soul, two different things. Okay. One is connected here to the earthly realm, and the other is connected to the astral realm. <clears throat> As above, so below, darling. So, let go of definitions and labels, nurture passions, and seek pleasure, authenticity, honesty, and laughter. Find the source of dis-ease and distress. You need to forgive. Do what's necessary to increase well-being. Do not dwell on the unchangeable past. Shift your attention. Do not allow your pain to hurt others. Seek treatment. Do not be afraid. Two. Excuse me, sorry. I'm okay, it was just a sneeze. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> the healing card illustrates our third reason for being. However, it gives, 
It covers healing on several levels and does not necessarily suggest or imply that you are wounded or in need of healing. Healing is a lifelong journey. At least not in a conscious level. A happy, safe, and peaceful life does not always accord us with a perfect health and well-being. Every person is vulnerable to dis-ease, whether it manifests in the physical, mental, or emotional stress, or has a feeling of emptiness and longing that is born of spiritual wounds. Humans are part of a hierarchical race. We have social order with the elite and wealthy at the top and the uneducated and the poor at the bottom. We are a species that is driven to win with each of us striving to do better, to be better than the generation that came before. Those at the top want to stay there and those at the bottom want to reach the top. We are goal oriented and believe that success moves us forward and failure sets us back. We are on a perpetual quest to improve, whether it be our social standing, quality of life, or a simple desire to be a better person. We must be better. We must do better. But what is better? In our quest for betterment, are we making ourselves ill? In the simplest terms, we often see success and failure in the same light as we do life and death. To succeed is to live, to fail is to die, or worse still, to descend into poverty and mediocrity and obscurity. In the simplest terms, we often see success and failure in the same light as we do, or, whoops, we become fixated on being the best, succeeding on all, at all we do, and, do, sorry, I have somebody like rubbing up against my feet. Okay, we may find we are not happy. We may find we are not healthy. Sometimes we find that even when we do accomplish our goals and we are rewarded with wealth and prosperity, we are not satisfied and crave more. We are enjoying and doing only what needs to be done in order to survive. Are we fixated on acquiring possessions that we have forgotten that happiness is, and well-being begin within us? Are we truly living? There's often so much going on around us in our day-to-day -day lives that we disconnect from our body, our thoughts, and emotions to, to such an extent that when somebody asks, how are you, we all automatically say, I am well, regardless of our true feelings or whether we are physically well or not. To do this is an act of self-preservation and hides our vulnerability, our weariness, and our dissatisfaction and our dis-ease from others. We may be afraid of being honest because we do so, because to do so could reveal our weaknesses in a world where we must always be strong in order to survive and to succeed. The sad truth is that we are, may not only be doing it in order to hide our true state from others, but to hide it from ourselves. The healing card symbolizes a need to reconnect and listen to what your body, mind, and feelings are telling you to work with them instead of against them, whether it be as simple as addressing a physical ailment or addressing that empty ache that comes from denying ourselves enjoyment and connection. This card signals that it's time to rip off the layers of illusion and the protective armor and the masks and look at what lies beneath. Are you fulfilled? Do you love your life? Are you happy or do you need everything that you strive for in order to be happy? Are you living a fulfilling life that you love, or are you simply enduring, dying a little more each and every day? The healing card brings with it questions like these. It also asks you to look at your life and determine whether your path heals you or harms you. If it is the latter, the healing card reminds you that it is your power to change that direction. All right, Pisces, you got all the power. You got a lot of horses here. <laughs> Which way are you going to drive it? Which way are you going to drive it? I suggest you hunt that down. And then put that around it. Okay, okay. That's my only advice. Alright, Pisces. Until next time, I love you and keep your flame.